As someone who grew up within the church, I really thought that like the Bible was mainly all the scripture that was out there. And maybe this was incredibly ignorant for me to think, but really the way I was raised and no offense against my parents at all, they did the absolute best they could. But I really just had this view that like anything outside of the Bible was either woo woo or not even relevant to my understanding until I came across the verse where it says all scripture is good for building up for wisdom and for knowledge. And so for me, I was like, wait a minute, maybe I could read a few other things. Well, let me tell you, I found a set of scriptures that were found in 1945 in the Nag Hammadi Desert that absolutely blew my mind. This tradition of scriptures is what we refer to as Gnostic scriptures. And it is everything from Greek mythology mixed with Christian mysticism, mixed with even magical and alchemical type of works. It is absolutely beautiful, it is mind-blowing, and it literally contains some of the alleged words of Jesus Christ himself. When I refer to Jesus Christ, I understand now from reading these scriptures that his name was Jesus or Yeshua or Isa, and his title was Christ. He was the Christ. I personally believe now from reading all of these scriptures, or at least as many as I can find available online, that he was a mystic who had full awareness that he was in God and God was in him. This entire metaphysical understanding from fully opening his heart, his mind, and aligning his full self with God. Through these scriptures, I began to understand things like Mary Magdalene and what her place was as the fullness of the divine feminine and literally the example and archetype that all of us can understand yoking ourselves with the divine feminine, the divine masculine, making the two into one and becoming in the fullness of God. Like literally, you're not going to hear this at church. And unfortunately, I think this is where the real fruit of all the scripture comes in because it's literally a system of alchemy within the self that we can actually practice. I remember sitting in church when I was a kid wondering about the words of Jesus, like why don't we practice the spiritual practice he talked about rather than believe on a name. Guys, this is just my opinion, so this is literally not a religious channel. I dig into the supernatural mythos. I'm personally deconstructed, but I respect and love everyone.